Thanks, Scott. Okay, guys, it's time for you to become a scientist and apply your estimation and measurement skills with this program's hands-on activity. It was developed by the National Space Biomedical Research Institute. Hey, let's check in on the students at the New Mexico School for the Deaf in Santa Fe, New Mexico. NASA Connect asked us to show you this program's hands-on activities. The first activity is called Serving Sizes. Here are the main objectives for the first activity. Students, you will estimate serving sizes of different foods and compare their estimates to serving size information provided on Nutrition Facts food labels. Good morning, class. Food labels and other guides often use serving sizes to describe a recommended single portion of food or drink. NASA Connect asked us to investigate the question, what is a serving size? Your teacher will provide you with the nutrition facts labels from these food items. One bag of frozen peas, one box of dry breakfast cereal, one bag of popped popcorn, and a two liter bottle of soft drink. Copies of the labels are to be distributed to groups. You are to determine appropriate serving sizes for the different foods. Write the word estimate onto three paper plates and onto one cup. Mark the other three paper plates and cup as food label. On the student handout, write the name of each food under the food name column. For each food, estimate how many cups or fractions of cups make up one serving size. Record your estimate in the second column of the table and measure the portions into the estimate plates and cup. Next, measure onto the food label plate and cup the serving size for each food based on the nutrition facts label. You are then to write a short paragraph answering the activity's discussion questions. If you have access to personal digital assistants or PDAs, the PDA is a great device for keeping a journal. You can use the infrared capabilities to peer edit journal entries with others. Later in the show, our students at the New Mexico School for the Deaf will show you the second activity called Your Energy Needs. Back to you, Jennifer.